Howdy Bush School and welcome to the Bush School in the 87th Texas Legislature. I'm your co-host Samantha Gordon, Bush School Class of 2021. And I'm Rebecca Chanel, also Bush School Class of 2021. Thank you so much for joining us. Bush School in the 87th Texas Legislature is a social media series we'll be bringing to you every so often in the spring as we connect with current and former Bush School students in the 87th Legislature, currently in session in Austin, Texas. Today, we are welcoming our first guest, Grace Kelly. Grace, what is your current job? My name is Grace Kelly and I'm class of 2019 from the Bush School and I am currently Legislative Director for Representative Gary Van Dever in the Texas House of Representatives. Okay, awesome. And Grace, how did your work in the legislative capstone slash anything you did in the Bush School prepare you for your current position? Well, I'll start with the Bush School side of things since that came first. I would highlight Dr. Bowman, uh, Dr. Bearfield, Dr. Hannibal, and Dr. Dagg as having perhaps the most influence on my work with the legislature through the Bush School. Um, they covered coursework relevant to state and local government, public finance, uh, public policy and ethics and policy analysis. And um, those things and the written assignments that came out of those classes were actually what contributed to me applying to these jobs as part of my resume and job application and led to me receiving the position that I now have. Um, regarding the capstone, it was a direct path because I now am back working for that exact same office in a position higher than the one I had during the capstone. Um, and during the capstone, um, I mean, it directly correlates because my office had a, a flat power structure, meaning that we did everything that the chief did, um, constituent casework, writing bill language, taking meetings with lobbyists and advocates, um, advising the representative on legislation and issues, preparing all the necessary paperwork and talking points. Um, and I, I was very blessed to be in such an office because some people do get restricted to more clerical or administrative work if you're a first time session employee. Um, and that was certainly not the case um, for my office. Um, I was given responsibility over a 10 piece um, legislative portfolio. And of that, about seven were voted out of the chamber and three ended up becoming law. So um, the capstone absolutely prepared me for the position that I now have. Your representative, what district are they from and who are the constituents that they serve? So I worked for Representative Van Dever back then and I do now, and he represents actually House District 1, um, the first district, um, which is the northeasternmost corner of Texas where Texarkana is and Paris, Texas. Um, and it encompasses Bowie, Franklin, Lamar, and Red River counties. Um, it's a pretty rural district, and so we deal with a lot of rural issues. And then he comes from a background in education, so um, he's a retired superintendent. So a lot of the policy that we um, deal with is education related. Um, but I do really appreciate working for his office because he is very much all about truly representing the needs of, of his people in his district, of his constituents. And so when we have people call in um, with problems, uh, I get to throw myself into that role and help them. Um, but yet also, if that's a problem that we can't get fixed through um, constituent casework, we end up making it into a bill and then we try our hardest to get it across into law. Um, and uh, a lot of offices, I feel like, they file a ton of bills, but they don't have any intention of actually working them. Or um, they file like big controversial bills. And in our office, um, it's really about the people of our district and getting and representing them truly to the legislature and helping them. Now, Grace, what was your favorite memory from the experience of the legislative capstone? I'd say my favorite memory is probably any of the memories of my capstone group hanging out during the legislature, because we all come from different backgrounds and experiences. We all work for, some of us work for Republicans, some of us work for Democrats, some of us are in the Senate, some of us are in the House. Everybody has different areas of policy that they work on, education, transportation, health. Um, and we all remain really good friends throughout the capstone. And even now, um, there's still five of us still working in the legislature of the seven. And we all keep in contact almost every day via a group text, encouraging one another, sharing information, asking for advice. Um, 
and it really it makes the job a lot easier and it's also just you know the the capstone my favorite memories are of us hanging out um, both socially during the legislature during the legislative session as well as um, like doing work together when we did get that opportunity. Grace, do you find that within the legislature there's a wide Bush School community? Like, do you more than just your capstone uh, people that were in your capstone? Um, there is. It's interesting that we will find people. Um, I was talking to somebody um, in a co in the Senate committee, and um, I just mentioned his name offhand, and it turned out that he was from a capstone from a legislative capstone two sessions earlier. Um, and then uh, the job that I got, I actually was coming into a role that the previous Bush School capstone had a, a girl that was in it before me. And so I, I moved into it. And so they actually had two Bushies in a row. And, um, wow. and, and it's a great, there's actually, there's a story where um, last year, cause I was actually, I did a year of a PhD program at a last year. And I was walking to a football game and I ran into her on the bus and I hadn't seen her at all. And uh, we were catching up and then we were walking through the MSC and we ran into the representative just walking through the MSC. <laughs> so, so the three of us were like, oh my gosh, you know? And so we found someone to take a photo and that's actually, that's one of the photos um, that I sent y'all is the three of us in the, I think we're next to the flag room or something. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a really vast network um, there. And even like today, someone texted me like, hey, they're looking for a job. They're looking for someone for this position. And I immediately texted another Bush School person that's not in the legislature yet, but wants to get there. Um, and so there, there's great networking um, and great support as well. Um, like as soon as people find out you're a Bushy and you know, finding a fellow Bushy is uh, great because you've made an instant friend. So how is COVID-19 making this year's legislature different from past years? It's much quieter. Um, usually when you're passing in between, you know, walking through the hallways, it's like walking um, in between classes at the Bush School, like where it's just people everywhere and you're just trying to get, you know, in between crowds. And um, it is not like that at all anymore. Um, usually you can't get any work done Tuesday or Wednesday because there's so many people coming in and out of the office asking to do 30 minute pitches about bills or lobbyists dropping by to be like, hey, I just came out of this meeting with this other office and I want to update you on something. Um, it's very fast paced. You're constantly interacting with people um, like, you you know, you'll easily on a Tuesday or Wednesday. And for us, I think that was our busiest because we were on the pub ed committee and their committee hearings were on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But um, you meet like 100 people a day, you know, for like two or three days in a row. And um, this session, we're still at our desks. We're still doing all the same work, but we don't see anybody like at all. Um, it's all done via email or over the phone or on Zoom. And um, honestly, it's, it's for someone who's an extrovert, it's really hard to not like it to interact with people. Um, and uh, we've been hearing that committee hearings are gonna be way less frequent um, and that we're not gonna be meeting, like the chambers aren't gonna be convening more than you know twice a week for a very long time. Um, so it's a very different session. We're gonna have a very narrow bandwidth on bills um, and it's probably gonna result in a lot of floor fighting rather than um, a lot of bills being heard and passed through the process. It's gonna be a lot of bills turning into amendments, trying to catch a ride in order to get out. Well, Grace, thank you so much for joining us, joining us on our very first episode of the Bush Bowl in the 87th Texas Legislature. Yes, thank you so much, Grace. Bush School will be back in the near future with episode two. So keep following up on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Sam, great job today. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. You can also find more information about our video series online at bush.tamu.edu slash legislature. Yes, check out that website. Until next time, I'm Rebecca Chanel. Have a great day.